Now Ramaphosa has signed the Bella bill into law. Um, what was happening there, actually, to be honest with you guys, this is where I think it's the first time I see Ramaphosa like that, you know? He was at the point where he was like, listen, I don't even care what you say, my bra, but what I'm going to do today, Friday, I'm going to sign this Bella bill. Okay? Now, if you didn't see that, let me explain to you. What happened is when he was talking, he did say that um, bef hours before they came in into the media briefing, right? He did say that um, there were negotiations or there were discussions, okay? Obviously, that will be between those who don't agree and those who agree with the Bebella bill, okay? Now, he said that they told him that don't sign this thing today, right? And then they were busy saying, don't sign it, don't sign it. Now, the reason why they say that, it is because there are some clauses or there are some laws that are in the Bella Bill that they don't agree with, okay? Which I also personally don't agree with some of the laws or clauses that are, I don't know whether it's clause, but some of the laws that are in the Bella Bill. But Ramaphosa, what it does is, they decide to say, listen, since you don't agree with these three, for, for example, three of the uh, laws in the Bella Bill, just let's go and talk about those three. But let's sign the Bella Bill into the law. Okay? Now, well, you can say, but I can understand because it's, it, it's been long. I think he, he said it's been 11 years when Mumutsecha was still there. It started with Motsaka, so it's been years, you know, these things. And I, I, I just don't understand why the other guys who are not agreeing with it. Okay, I think there is a, there is a party called ACDP. I think I did hear them before when they, they were not agreeing with certain clauses or certain laws that are in the Bella Bill. I don't know why I keep on saying clauses. Maybe it's clauses, I don't know. But the, the, the laws in the Bella Bill, no. Other parties, I don't know where they were. But um, obviously we know the, the party that doesn't want this thing to be signed, the D8 doesn't want it to be signed and, and everything. So, But Ramaphosa this time was like, I said, no, I'm going to sign this thing into law. Okay. But he gave them three months for them to go and do what? And talk about it. And maybe talk about it to say, listen, we don't like these things. How can we put them? Okay. How can we do them in other ways? Okay. And then obviously, if they agree, and then they will come to him, obviously, or maybe he will be in those negotiations. And then if it's decided that you want it this way, they will take it and put it in there just like that. Then Ramaphosa says, if you don't agree in three months, I am doing it the way it is. That means nothing is, is going to change. Okay, that is Ramaphosa for you. Now, on the law, on the laws that he was talking about, there is a law of education, right? Where they, they say uh, if a child reaches a certain age, that child must be in school. That means a, a, a parent must not have an excuse. And then if they put something that they say, then the, 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 the parent will get arrested and everything. I don't know if it's not if it's, it's the child who doesn't want to school. What are they going to do? Are they going to force? It? Anyway, but the thing is, guys, um, I think on that one I do agree with it. At least have some basic nyana when it comes to education. Nyana, grade R, grade one, two, three, four, five. Maybe after grade ten to twelve, you are done. You know, because obviously after grade twelve, other kids they might say. You know, I've seen something better I want to do, and then blah, blah, blah. Others, they will go to wherever, okay? But anyway, I like the way Ramaphosa handled this thing. And uh, also, in terms of the negotiations, he was not bullied. He was not, like, uh, dictated to. And it, that is why I'm saying, um, uh, Mr. I don't know if I spoke about it, but Mr. Panyaza Lusuf, I think he played a role here, okay? Because he tweeted this guy. He tweeted and said, Ramaphosa signed this thing. 
tweeted on, 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 on I think yesterday or I think it was on Wednesday or, or, or Thursday. He was like, sign this thing, sign it. Okay, we can't be dictated. Now you can see that the Banyaza he was a bit close to Ramaphosa. He was telling him, listen, this is about people because that's what Ramaphosa said actually when he was talking. And people celebrated, they clapped hands. And the reason why people were excited when he said, I said, no, I'm going to sign. And people celebrated. I was also like, yeah, Ramaphosa. That is because now we are seeing where a leader makes a decision without being dictated to. You see, guys, it is good to uh, talk to people. It is good to uh, consult with people. But you see, if you are in a form of government like GNU, obviously the difference are big. Okay. So one way or another, as a leader who was chosen to be the president or to be the leader of that GNU, of that whatever it's called, okay, you need at some point make a decision and say, you see what, I'm going to make this thing and I'm not going to take anything. I'm going to make this decision and I'm making it and it doesn't matter if this decision is wrong, but the majority of the people that are around me, they agree with me and I'm going to make it. That's what we see actually on Ramaphosa this time. That's why people were celebrating. Because you can't have people tossing you around, taking you post to pole, post to pole, go up and down, going to places and you don't know what's going on. At the end of the day, you forget that this is about the people because at the end of the day, it was going to be about the parties. Yeah, we agree. Yeah, we don't agree. Yeah, we agree. Now, the DA actually, before it was, before the, this Friday, uh, before it was signed, they threatened that if you sign, you're going to leave the chain. You know, the DA is like it's sitting at the door and everything that the NC does, they don't agree and NC could continue to doing it. They just go out of the door. We are leaving you. I don't know how are they going to treat people like that because usually when you treat people like that, they end up getting sick of you and then they end up not listening to you anymore because you are trying to blackmail them or manipulate them, whatever the way it is. Okay, so anyway, we will see. But I think the DA, okay, I don't think the DA now is going to take it to court. I don't think so. Especially when it comes to the, he told them that they can go and talk about the clause because I don't think they are against everything there. There are those laws that they don't agree with. So they can talk about those. But if they don't reach an agreement, I can see a court. I can see somebody going to court saying, yeah, this thing, what, 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 what. But if it does go to court, it's a problem for me, to be honest with you. Because this decision was made in parliament. This thing was made in parliament. The president, the only thing was left was him to, to, to sign. And we all know that the parliament is the arm of the state. It's one of the arms of the state. Now, you take the decision from the arms of the state, you take it to court. It's a problem. The court that is also an arms of the state is going to overrule the decision that was taken by one of the arms. <laughs> now it becomes a problem, just like what Mpofu said. Remember Mpofu when he, when he was talking about, um, when he was talking about, uh, who, who's that guy? Uh, Dr. Trump. Mpofu said, listen people, the reason why we are here, it is because there is somebody who lost in parliament, okay? Parliament that represent people. Remember guys, in parliament, you've got people that are in parliament that are representing all of us. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, they are representing you, okay? Now, they decide to make a decision that we want the pillar, the Bella Bill to be in the law, okay? Now you decide to say you alone and maybe with your two Nyana people, you decide to say we don't agree with this thing. And you, because you lost in parliament, you want to take that, that thing and then you want to take it to another arms of, 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 of the state. And obviously, if that court that they went to, then maybe decides otherwise, they might go to the constitutional court. And to be honest, guys, when I'm where I'm sitting, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not an expert in all of the, uh, uh, these things, but from where I'm sitting, if they take it to court, I don't think they will win. I don't think so, because this thing is going to benefit people. I'm talking about the positive laws. I'm not talking about those laws that are not good. I'm talking about positive laws. 
I think they are going to be good for the children and everything like that, okay? And then the other laws we can talk about and fix them and do whatever, you know? Because it's all about the people at the end of the day. It's all about kids, you know? I know, guys, you know, sometimes when they talk about, yeah, uh, the, 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 the department of, uh, of basic education, it's going to you know, be the one that makes decisions on you know, this and that and that. And people say, yeah, this thing is taking the rights of parents, taking the rights of, 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 of the governing body. I think the parent SGP, whatever, taking everything. You know, well, I don't know, guys, because I have been reading the means, the, the means, okay, the means, or uh, which is uh, M M Y T H mean, okay, of the Bella Peel. There are things that they, 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 they say there. Guys, usually when something like this happen, I give it the benefit of the doubt, especially if they allow the people who are not agreeing with certain things to talk about it, okay, on the side, okay? I am okay with that, okay? As long as uh, they keep on doing what is right, which is to make sure that they take other people into account, those who don't agree with certain things in the Pepela Pier, you know? I don't know, guys, but I hope that um, everything will go, go smooth with the negotiations. But Ramaphosa said, if you are not agreeing in three months, I am done with you. We are moving on. We signed this thing. We've done. We just put your, the, the laws that were there, and then we go on. Done. Signed. It will be implemented. The bad thing, though, is the following. The minister of... Uh, basic education was not in the meeting. I didn't see her. I saw in the news they said she's not going to be there. So I don't think she was there. I don't think I didn't see the pictures. Or maybe when they were taking pictures, but I didn't see her then. Then it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a problem because the person who's supposed to be implementing is the minister, right? Am I wrong or not? Is the minister who's supposed to be implementing this thing? How is she going to implement it? If she doesn't agree with it, how is she going to implement it if she doesn't agree with that document? That is why I think it might actually go to court, you know, because I don't think the agreement is going to be there because they will be arguing. This one will say this, this one will say this, this one, and when others try to compromise, the other one doesn't want to compromise. Because whether you like it or not, when it comes to the GNU, compromising is part of the game. It's one of the things that they need to do. You compromise whatever you like, you compromise whatever you think was right just for the sake of a decision to be made. <laughs> Otherwise, the decision will be left with Ramaphosa and you will have to make a decision. And the way you will make a decision, you will have to step and say, listen, of course you are not agreeing. And we did promise each other that we will agree on things. And we don't agree. I'm going to make a, a, a decision as the president. You know, that's how the things are, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, well, we will see when the time goes on. We will see how it affects the children. We'll see how it affects the uh, governing body. That is the parental what what. We will see how it affects the, 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 the what the teachers also and everything like that. But he also said uh, Ramaphosa that. Um, do you remember we've always said, or I think a lot of people said that. A child is built by a community, right? But we all know that children who are going to school, the whole day, almost the whole day, in fact, they are at school for the whole day because when they come back, the parents are not at home, they are at work. So in other words, the whole day they are at school, they are spending time with, their, with the teachers. I just wish that maybe it was possible to for them to make it like to be equal when it comes to sharing the responsibility of the children. But in most cases, the parents, mm, the parents, they don't put effort, more effort. Please don't bash me. Okay. Don't bash me and say, I oh, don't know anything. You what, what. But in most cases, guys, we all know that usually when a child for for example when a child stays at home with a, a nanny or stays at home with somebody who cleans in the house okay uh, you know a, a domestic worker in most cases that child will bond more 
with the domestic worker or will bond more with the person who is cleaning in the house or who is a nanny. Why? Because spends time with them. Okay? And it's understandable because we are living in times where everybody is busy, every parent is busy, they are always out, they are always, you know. So when they come back, the kids, they come back, the parents are not there. Okay, and the only thing that is left is for the when they come back, one, they are tired, two, you will find that they even when they get back home, the parents they still work, you know, on their computers, they can't, you know, whatever. So, I think in some way, somehow, it might be having a positive impact. Now, only if the teachers are going to be to be uh, positive in terms of dealing with kids. They are not going to do it for their own benefit or maybe do it, you know, ending up doing some wrong things. I'm just hoping that, okay? And I think it, it, it can work in terms of the kids so, so that the kids, they know that if my mom is not around, at least I've got a parent uh, at school, you know? Yeah, so um, I don't know, maybe the, the, the law, it's not like that, but I wish that, you know, parents and teachers, they can, they can, meet each other here you know and share the this thing equally you know because but anyway anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the video please like share uh also if you're on youtube subscribe like do the do's and if you're on, on uh, what is it on facebook you can like you can share do whatever and all of that okay thank you guys have a good day shop shop